Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a frequency histogram and a density histogram for a numerical variable. So we first need some data. So I generated some random variables here so that we can play with something. So I have this variable called x1 and the way I created this was by generating a bunch of normally distributed random variables with a mean of 20 and a standard deviation of 3. And the way to do that is using this function. So I don't want to go off on this, but just, just disclosure. So I generate 10,000 normal, normally distributed random variables with a mean of 20. I just arbitrarily chose this mean and this standard deviation. Okay. And if I hit enter, I create x1. And now I can uh, I can calculate the mean of x1. I can get the uh, standard deviation. I can do a bunch of descriptive statistics, but I want to focus on the histogram here. So hist x1, if I do this, I'll get the very basic frequency histogram okay, of x1. And here you see the x-axis is the, the, the values for our variable x1 and here the y-axis is frequencies and we see we get this very bell-shaped curve okay now what if I want to create a density histogram so I just need to tweak this code a little and frequency equals false we'll do this okay so here you see when frequency is set to false this becomes density and you see these are actually densities so the total area under this curve should equal to 1, right, with a density histogram, okay? So very easy to create. Now actually I can overlay a, a nice smooth curve like I'm doing here, and that could be useful. So lines, density, x1, and there's a lot of ways to tweak this as well, but uh, let me just play with the color a little. Let's get a uh, sorry, let's do like a blue line here and let's make it a little thicker. That's what this does. And so here we see a, a kind of almost smooth curve drawn over that basically captures the essence of the distribution of x1. Okay, so we see clearly here that we have a very bell shaped uh, distribution. Okay, all right, now let me just show you one more look. I also created another variable called x2, also numerical. This time I used a different distribution, so we're not going to get into that, but this one is going to generate uh, something that's not exactly bell-shaped. So let's take a look at this histogram. Okay, again, frequency. So this is a histogram of x2, and you can see this is a much more skewed, well, this is a very skewed distribution as opposed to the distribution of x1 which was very symmetric okay so it's right skewed or positively skewed and we can make a density histogram by again setting frequency to false and we see that we get density on the y-axis okay my x axis again is the range of values for x2 now I can overlay uh, smooth curve over this histogram. Let's make another color. How about, uh, I don't know, orange. It understands most of the basic colors as far as just writing them down. And I can even show you how to make a uh, dotted line here. So we get what looks like a somewhat orange line. If, if this y-axis is too short for me, I could also tweak that, but you see the essence here is a right skewed distribution. Okay, so whatever x2 is, if it had some context, uh, most of the values of x2 occur at the lower end of the range, but there are values as you go further out into the high end of this range, but they get very infrequent. Okay, um, let's do that. Uh, let's actually let me show you how to extend that y-axis a little so that we can see a little bit more. So zero, so I could define my limits. So I'm at 0.15, maybe if I go to 0.2, if 
Shall we close that parentheses? And so you see here I can define how uh, the y-axis as well. So now my curve doesn't get chopped off like it was before. Okay, so just a little bit of tweaking. There's a lot more you could do with this stuff, but again, I want to focus on the essential points, the important points for an applied statistics course. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. Uh, make sure to watch the other videos I'm going to do. I'm going to talk more about descriptive statistics for both numerical and categorical variables. Uh, this one just focused on histograms. So I hope this was helpful. Be sure to subscribe. Have a great day.